Alright, I do love, love, love that we get a good look at Star Swirl the Bearded in this arc. That, in my opinion, is awesome. And of course, his reaction to coffee, beautiful. In fact, it's kind of how you'd expect Pinkie Pie to react to coffee the first time. And that's actually something in the earlier in the arc that's really nice. Celestia apparently thinks, and also Sombra, thinks that... Uh, <laughs> sorry, my brain just died for a second there. That Twilight is like Star Swirl. But Luna, somewhat disparagingly, notes that Pinkie Pie is like Star Swirl. And really, both are, these are right. Star Swirl is actually a beautiful mixing of Pinkie Pie and Twilight. The same love of learning and exploration with the zany, probably in some way, shape, or form insane, well, if nothing else, she has mania. She's a manic, if nothing else. But <laughs> I, I really did like this character. Especially like when, like with Pinky, when she's being portrayed seriously, when it's serious time, it's serious time. I just like that. Loved it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something else. Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. Eh, that was probably just a hat thing. Oh well, porcupines. So, I like that. Um, we're going to cut it to another segment. So again, you know the three exceptions to C in a second. All right, now we're gonna get into some of the things that sucks, but still some things that are good. I did like the love story between Celeste and Samba. That was nice, it was touching, and also I am kind of interested in seeing him come back. However, I'm of the opinion the whole he will somehow fix all of this, the whole universe collapsing in on two universes collapsing in on each other by acquiring the darkness of evil Celestia and Luna kind of ticks me off. In what way are we returning balance here? If anything, we're messing it up even more. Because now we have two good Celestias, two good Lunas, and one evil Sombra, who now has the evil magic of two Two pink ponies instead of just one, like we assume Sombra had. For all we know, that might have been three, knowing the fact the man could be living darkness. It's just, yeah. It seems they did this just so they could put some angst in. And while I don't mind angst, that's okay. It's just, it didn't make any freaking sense when you think about it. I mean... <laughs> If somehow, if it turned out that Celestia and Luna both, um, you know, uh, our Celestia, their Celestia, our Luna, their Luna, afterwards teamed up to save the universes, okay, that makes sense. But there is no balance here, because we're unbalancing Luna and Celestia, and also, keep in mind, our Sombra's dead. And may I just say this? Please don't imply that he somehow survived. And to you, Megan McCarthy, please don't. For two reasons. Well, actually, no, for mainly one reason, a personal reason. We had an on-screen death. I want to keep it an on-screen death. Please don't subvert that. I like that. He killed someone on screen on a little kid show. Don't take it away from me. But the fact is... We still have a Sombra, he's still there, and theoretically, he should have already been dead. Now, if that were somehow contributing to the paradox, and then he committed suicide after taking their dark magic, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. That would have actually made some sense. We're balancing it. There's a Sombra there, but not a Sombra there. Okay, th there, no Sombras. Poof, they separate again. Wouldn't make tons of sense. But, no. We had to go for angsty and then not do it well. Well, actually, no. We, the angst part was done rather well, but... If it were better thought out, it wouldn't be such an issue for me. Though I will admit, the very end where Celestia was remembering Sombra and 
Sombra seems to still in some way at least note that he used to care, if not possibly still care. That's why I want to see him again. I want to see what the match is done to I, It offers so many things that I wish to know, I want to see. But also another thing. Okay, Luna having the nightmare in her. That nightmare moon was a composite creature. Okay, that I can roll with, no problem. Tommy Oliver didn't quite like that. He's of the opinion, I, I want to say it, it mitigates the consequences or something, I can't remember. That in some way gets in the way of, since she was being possessed, they weren't her actions, but I'm of the opinion she was still responsible due to the fact she wanted to rebel, and it seems that just opened up the nightmare to come in, and she became even worse. She was still at least somewhat accounted for her actions. Sombra, on the other hand, is completely just doing a heroic sacrifice. And again, it even seems to some extent he's controlling it. But it, it seems to me we're going a little bit, we're a little too willing now to go and say, oh, it was dark magic. Dark magic was controlling them. Especially when you consider that means Sombra was simply under the influence of dark magic in our Equestria, so we killed somebody who was just being mind controlled. Okay, admittedly, I can I can roll with that, but at that point, I would have preferred at least something, some sort of note to this, to the fridge horror that this is, because at that point, that would express it properly, and at that point, it goes from we ain't noticing things and we're just killing people without noticing it, to you know, a, a difficult choice, or at least a revelation that we did something that really is reprehensible. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's everything I want to say. If I have more, I'll be back. So, until then, goodbye. I thought of something. One of the nice things about this arc is it shows us what would have happened had the rest of the main six gone to Canterlot High. Besides, you know, just a lot of awkward dealing with the fact that, you know, you're essentially meeting yourself. And if nothing else, okay, do you really want Rainbow Dash to meet herself? Because either that's just going to be a whole bunch of patting each other on the back, or just so much comp competitive spirit that I'm not sure the world can stand that. That might actually be worse than the whole, you know, two worlds merging thing. So, give me a gold star, because I remembered! So hopefully that was everything.